Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Zazenia Online. This is a free-to-play 2D MMORPG. It has a large map with four continents, hundreds of spells, monsters, bosses, and quests to explore with seven different subclasses. Download the game if you're going through Steam. You create your account and you actually create your character on the website and then you come back over to the client and log in so I'm going to do that now and here we go we have entered the game there you know I should mention there is two servers there is a PvP server and there's a non PvP server I went ahead and created a character on the PvP server so here it looks like we have a tutorial and uh, you can left click or use the arrow keys to walk you can right click to talk to someone or attack. Can you keep a secret? So it looks like down here in the chat it highlights secret. So you want to type what the highlighted messages are. Secret. I managed to pick the lock behind the cell. Can you find a way out before the guards come back? Hurry, I'll be right behind you. Come on, man, move. Let's go. Um, oh, it looks like you could also use uh, WASD if you press Control F first, and now it gets rid of this uh, uh, the bar, so you can actually use WASD. I like using the arrow keys in this type of game, so I'm gonna just focus on that. Wow, this chest here found us some starter equipment. I guess uh, that's awesome. Um, Oh, I, I, di I guess I did forget to mention, um, I did choose a warrior. Uh, you, you do get the choice of creating a warrior, a ranger, which is an archer, or a mage. And then from there, once you hit a certain level, you can choose a subclass and you can go down a different path. Like warrior, I think you can go like a more tanky one, or you can do a DPS warrior. Right click to attack a monster. We've got a prison orc right here. Right click to loot. Click loot or drag it. Oh, there's a prison dragon standing in front of me. Luckily, this guy is no... Uh, yeah. I like the loot feature. Just click the button to loot. That's nice. Alright, we found that guy's prison key. Haha. -ha. Now let's head out. Uh, it should be noted, too, that you do start with spells up here. So if you press F1, it heals you. And it takes mana. If you press F2, um, it is an attack. And then F3 will create food, as long as you have the mana for it. Doesn't look like I have any food right now. So my HP and mana are not going up automatically. Um, so basically, you just need to find food. And then you can eat it. And then you can have mana regen. Or there's potions such as this over here. I'm going to save my potions, though, and just try to find some food. Whoa, a prison lizard. This thing looks insane. So I've played this game a, a, a while back, and uh, this is actually more insane. Like, this was not a thing back in the day. Um, I've never seen this before. So this is definitely a new experience of a tutorial Looks like there's a portal here. Right click to escape through the portal. As you leap into the portal, everything blacks out. I wake up in a strange bed. My equipment is gone. What happened? Where am I? No, not my equipment. That looked so cool. <laughs> oh, you hate this. All right, this guy, uh, he just gave me some items. And he gave me a task to kill 25 rats. You can hold shift or control and left click and look at items. So that's cool. You can see what these items are. Um, yeah, I'll click and add a mana. Uh, but yes, add, uh, go to the sewers. Oh, also over here, it looks like you can change your outfit. Looks like they have a bunch of different ones here. Some of these outfits say they can be obtained from a quest, task, or item. Um, and then I believe it's the same thing with hairstyles. You can get some pretty cool hairstyles, like a Super Saiyan or something. This is obtained from a quest. So there, there is some premium outfits that you can buy with premium cards. 
But then there's a lot of them in game that you can obtain doing quests and, and, I, and getting items and things like that. So there's definitely a lot to collect if you're into that sort of thing. All right, we got some creeps down here and some rats. Um, as long as these guys have food eventually, I'll be good because then I can start regening. I'm getting a lot of gold from killing rats. It's actually pretty pretty good. I don't remember back in the day getting this much gold right away. Because potions aren't, aren't cheap, so it's good to actually get some gold early game. Especially if we can't create food at the beginning. And I haven't seen any, uh, any food drops yet. Yeah, we just got a level 3, so that means... Oh, this guy dropped uh, worms. Uh, oh, cheese. Perfect. Uh, it says we got talent points. So here we go. Unspent talent points. We have two of them. We got durability, increased max HP, and regen. Spirituality, uh, mana, and regen. Legerity, uh, speed. Expertise, critical hit chance, aggression, increase your damage, fortification, physical defense, resistance. Whoa, everything spawned on me. Healing boost, weapon boost, and gathering boost. Um, I'm probably going to throw my points right into aggression, I think. Well, what's weapon boost? Increase your weapon attack. Maximum is 30 points. Requires level 150 plus, so we can't do these boosts yet. 100 and 150. So I think I'm just going to get more damage right off the bat. That's going to give me an extra 1% damage for two points. That's awesome. Alright, that is a rat task done. Uh, pretty simple enough. Good little introduction into the game starter task. And you actually get a decent amount of money, so... It's very worth doing. We're going to tell this guy we did our task. Whoa, he gave me... Wow, I'm level 5, 2 talent points, and I increased my skills in melee fighting and defending. And he gave me this uh, wolf tooth chain, which uh, gives 0 0.1 defense, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, ask him for another task. Now we got to go kill some cave crabs. Wow, it looks like he gave me even more potions. That's insane. I love it. Cave crabs are this way. I like these little arrows. I'm guessing this is only going to be at the beginning of the game, and then uh, it's going to go away after after a while. Just to get your feel for around the city. Yes, indeed a cave crab. Oh, so that's my F2 spell, what you just seen there. Wham! It's like an AoE. That's awesome. So one thing I like about the UI, it's like fully customizable. I mean, there's my abilities and talents right here. I can expand it. Take a look at them. We got unspent points. I'll put these in aggression again. Um... It looks like they give you uh, one uh, reset for free once, so that's cool. Use it wisely. You got your magic level, so every time I heal, that little bar is going up very slowly. It's because I'm a warrior. I don't use magic a whole lot. And I just want to put it out there. You definitely want to use your potions and heals down here, because there is a lot of cave crabs that spawn. Like, even if you're in the spawn, it doesn't matter. The cave crabs are still going to come. See, like, boom, they just spawned. Um, I'll heal, and then I use my big damage F2 spell. Like this. Yeah. And then I'll just heal up again. Ah, it's pretty cool. I like, I like that my spell's AoE. Otherwise, I feel like I would be having a big problem right now. Alright, this should do it for the cave crab task. We've completed it. Go turn it in after I loot my gold and eggs. Getting food down here, so that's awesome. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, task. I'm now level 7 with melee fighting and defending up. Start the next task. Now we're just killing regular crabs. Yeah, it looks like if you do control M, it pulls out a map. And it's got like little areas and you can highlight it. It tells you what they are. So that's neat. It's got some stuff. Uh, um, so I need to go over here. Obviously, it's black because I haven't explored that area yet. But I need to come out this way, I'm guessing, and go to the Crab Beach. I also wanted to make it noted, if you come up here and you see all these hotkeys up here, you can actually like click on F10, for say. Or right-click on it, I mean. 
Um, click on support, support spells. There's stuff in here. It tells you what magic level you need for it, though. And then there's also offensive spells. There's nothing in here besides this one yet. But when I become a subclass, then you will get more spells. Yeah, pretty much my main damage is coming from my spell. I don't do much damage auto attack. Um, probably because my weapon's not very good. <clears throat> but uh, at least I have that damage spell. And it's getting my magic level up while using it. So the higher magic level I have, the better spells I'm going to unlock. Alright, I'm going to do something risky here. I'm going to gather up some of these. Let's do four. Let's see. Oh, we'll do five. Heal. Heal. Right click. Uh, okay. This is bad. <laughs> There's just so many. Right click my potions. Oh man, yeah, don't don't do that. That it's kind of difficult, at least as a warrior. Oh, this guy's uh got a red aura around him. It says uh these creatures give more EXP and loot, but they're harder. He didn't give me any loot. Jabated. Yeah, it looks like um, mobs sparkle when they uh, when they actually have loot on them. The ones that don't sparkle are uh, they don't have loot by the looks of it. Um, I'm almost done with the crab quest though. These guys hit really hard, so you gotta don't pull too many, and uh, make sure you're using your potions and your spells. That's that's all I can say about that. All right, last of the crabs. There's a lot of them. Perfect. Also, um, F4, I put on here, it loots all the bodies. So if you open the bodies that have loot and just press F4, it loots them all. So that's a, that's a handy key to open uh, all or loot all the bodies. Instead of clicking loot on each individual one. Alright, and just like that, task is completed. Level 9, melee 18, defending 18... Talents, <laughs> we still have four unused. I'm going to go ahead and put them all on aggression still, just because I want to do that massive damage. My guess is I won't take as much damage once I actually start filling in gear. So let's say task, Orkneys, 50 of them. And before we do the Orkney task, I'm going to go around to these shops. Looks like there's a shop here. And I think that's the banker. And also, there's a marketplace here. So let's talk to this guy. Market. And this is where you can buy premium cards if people are selling them. You can buy melee weapons and armors. So let's see if I can afford anything. Okay, this stone axe has more attack and some defense, and it's only 25 gold. So I'm going to buy that. You don't have enough money in your bank. Oh, we got to put it in our bank first. Make sure you do that. And there we go. We just bought our Primitive Stone Axe. So my other one was only 3.3. 3. This is 5.4, 5.2. So, I mean, it's a slight upgrade. Um, I don't have a shield, so let's look for shields. There's a shield here for 400, and I, I don't remember how much I have. Let's just try to buy it. Oh, guess I had enough. Perfect. There we go, we got a shield now. That gives me uh, six defense. So now I think we're rocking. I mean, I'm going to have to fill in these other gears, but I think I'm out of money now. If I ask him high balance, 540 gold. That's actually, that's actually way more than I thought I had. What the heck? But they're on the map here, it says Orkneys are over here. So we're going to go take a look at the Orkneys. I'm going to assume the Orkneys are up this ladder. There's fire. Oh, yeah, there's Orkneys. I don't know how much they hit, so I'm going to let them come to me. 20s. It's not terrible. Just make sure you're using your potions. Um, that is going to be what you want to do. It doesn't look like you take damage when you walk on the fire. I'm okay with that because I don't need to take any extra damage at the moment. I literally just looted a shield that I bought for four or five hundred. <laughs> what are the chances in that? Oh no. Maybe I can sell it back for like four hundred on the market. I'm going to try to list it when we get back into town. 
I'm running low on potions. I should probably start heading back towards the beginning. These guys hit really, 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 really hard. So I have to keep eating my health potion. Um, I think I'm almost done. So I think I might head back towards the, the beginning area where I came in to be on the safe side. All right. Orkney task is completed. We will go turn it in. That was uh, that was a stressful one. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I I almost died numerous times. Like uh, you don't want more than like two, maybe three on you. It, you. You'll have a bad time. That's all I can say. And this is not the right hole. What's in here? An Orkney general. Okay. Uh, if an Orkney can pretty much kill me by himself, I'm I'm sure an Orkney general will be able to just slaughter me. And I don't want to find out. Not right now. Yeah, so the other thing I was going to say, it looks like there's a bunch of, like, people around in these areas where you can talk to them and start new quests. There's also the la the humanoid layer, the orcish complex. I'm guessing those are dungeons. Alright, man. I don't know if I can do the next task you give me, but level 11, 22, 22. He gave me a new amulet. And task, orcs. Um, I mean, maybe I can do an orc. I guess I've never tried. A uh, new amulet gives me 1.2 defense instead of the zero point defense. Um, I want to show you guys where the where you can store your gear. These little boxes right here. These are the depot. So you right click on it, and you can throw things you're not using in here, um, and, and free up some inventory space just like that so fresh and so clean so at the banker you just say hi deposit all and then you can say balance he'll tell you how much you have you can say withdraw 11 he'll give you 11 back so that's how you work the bank system um, you have to have your money in the bank obviously like we found out to purchase things on the market I just talked to this guy, William. He says, do you want to help me? He wasn't listed on the map. So I said, help. Take this. Uh, I used to hide all my valuables in a chest in the cave just west of here, but the crave, cave crabs have taken it. Here, take the key, find my chest, bring the items back to me, especially the knife. Okay, so he wants me to go to the cave, ca cave crab. Why is that so hard to say? Um, he wants me to go to that cave and search for a chest. I didn't see one down there when I was there earlier, so maybe... I mean, I wasn't really looking for that, so maybe it's down levels or something like that. I hit these guys a lot harder now with just my uh, my right click and not my spells. I mean, I should, right? Uh, my skills have gone up and so is my level. I found the chest. There we go. All he wanted was this knife. I had one in my uh, depot that I could have just given to him, but, you know, I had to use that key to find it. His special knife, I'm sure. So I'll go down and give it back to him. I was actually getting really good EXP down here. I got level 12. These cave crabs, now that I can, like, one-shot them with my spell, just get them all on me. They can't even damage me. Ooh, a wooden ring. And, uh, yeah, just dominate. Looks like that wooden ring is 0 0.2 defense. And I'll show you what I mean when I can just do this. Boom and boom. That That's a good feeling when you can just AoE everything dead. I wonder if I'm going to get magic level 2 by doing this. Oh, close. I'm just going to cast a couple more times. And magic level 2. I Talk to William. Turn this in. Did you find my knife? Yes. Or knife? Boom. Oh, he gave me armor. Uh, one defense helmet. Okay, I'm going to have to go around and try to find everyone that has an exclamation point and see if they give me stuff. I want to test the speed boost. So it costs 30 mana. Here's normal run. Speed boost run. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty decent improvement. Up here is the buff time. It lasts for five minutes. Holy crap, that's really good. We speedy now. Alright, I just took this quest. He didn't really... Oh, well now he's uh, saying it. Bring five crab claws. But if you do control Q, it pulls up this, and then it kind of tells you what you need to do as well. So, control Q is the quest log. Or you can just hit quest over here. But, you know, hotkeys are nice. Hey, a talent point. 
Boop. I started running away from him, and I'm like, wait, what's this in my inventory? I have eight crab claws. I can just turn in this quest right away. Hi. Crab claws. Thank you. I wouldn't have done it without you. Um, now he wants me... 15 four-leaf clovers. Uh, they grow east of here near leprechauns. Okay. Maybe it's this way, east of here? Leprechauns, huh? Or is this a four-leaf clover? No. <laughs> it definitely was not. Wow, yeah, it's very dark, but you do have light that illuminates around you. Here's a thief. Oh. Hi. Yeah, so I didn't see anything over there. Um, I think I seen leprechauns by Orkneys. I wonder how hard they hit. I should probably maybe get some uh, new potions. I had the the tasks haven't been giving me any potions anymore, so it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go buy some to be on the safe side. So at the shop here, this is Fenwick. He sells potions and also some mage stuff. Um, you can also sell potions and stuff to him too, so that's a plus, like empty vials, he'll buy them, uh, five gold each. Um, I don't know if you can refill them or not on your own, but I was trying, I want to find, uh, a fishing pole. I don't know where to find a fishing pole yet. This guy just uses boat travel, he didn't want to trade me. But I think a fishing pole would be good to have. Oh, a fishing pole. A b Wait, what's the difference? Let's let's do the basic fishing rod. Uh, that sounds more my style. So here we go. We got a basic fishing rod over here. We right click. No, you just right click on the water. Yeah. So if you right click on the water, see? Your fishing level's going up. And all the fish you catch automatically go over here in this fishing bag. Well, I pulled a message in a bottle from the water. It looks like it's for Yos Joseph. <laughs> what the heck? That's insane. I, so I caught a couple fish, but then I caught that. I'm going to go find Yosef. Where is he? This guy over here looks pretty cool. He's a paladin, level 249. That must be the tank class of uh, warrior. So there was a barbarian and a warrior. I haven't looked these things up yet, but I know there is a wiki. That will help you with that. And I'm trying to find this uh, Yosef guy We're still. I don't know where he's at. He's, he's really good at playing hide and seek. Here we have George. Hi, George. Hi. Job. Okay, it looks like he... Well, this just tells me the quest log. He wants me to collect carrots. Oh, I just... Oh, so you, you right-click it, wait for it to gather, and then you get a carrot? Oh, yeah, I got two carrots. Ooh, gathering level increase. Oh, that's pretty neat. So he wants seven. Here you go, George. Uh, carrots. You haven't finished handing out all the carrots. I oh, he wants me to hand them out. Carrot delivery. Uh, Fenwick, Arn, Anja, Avenus, Dorothy, Forwin, William. I know where a couple of those are right off the bat, but yeah, cool. I'm I'm a delivery man for this guy. Oh, looks like he gave me this too. Oh, with a delivery order. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Alright, it looks like you have to do it in order, so just a tip there. I was, like, sitting there talking to a person. I'm like, dude, you're on my list. Take my freaking carrot, and they wouldn't. So you actually have a delivery process. Uh, so now I gotta go back to the other chick I was trying to talk to earlier. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got George. Hi. Reward. Oh, he gave me a shield. Oh, uh, this shield's not as good as my other one by the looks of it. Nope, it's not. But you didn't have to buy a shield. You just have to go around and do people's quests and you get items. And it's nice to know. That's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here so you guys can watch me suffer and then I can figure things out. <laughs> and then you will know what not to do when you log in and start playing the game. This guy wants a bottle of golden liquid. Um, <laughs> easy enough. Our first encounter with bees. Alright, in order to get the golden liquid, he wants honeycombs. So, um, I gotta go find Melvin. Tell, them that, tell him that he needs honeycombs. 
Where's Melvin? Where are you, Melvin? Oh, look who it is. It's Melvin. I seen him down here when I was looking for him by the bees. Hi. Yeah. Task. This guy wants, uh... Carrots? Ten carrots. I need to talk to Melvin, though. How do I talk to just Melvin? Hi. Oh, here we go. Honeycombs. Um, uh, take these honeycombs. I don't need them anymore. It's a boring entire... He doesn't want to... He wants to become an artist, so he's not helping bees anymore. Well, that's easy enough. Just picked up our ten carrots. Let's go turn them in. Uh, gave him the carrots, and he gave me some leather gauntlets. Little tiny bit of defense, but it's something. All these little tiny... Like 0 0.2, 0 0.2. You know, they, they do add up in uh in defense all right we just got our uh bottle of golden liquid we'll go give that to the other dude and uh hopefully he gives me some awesome legendary best item in the game all right helmut i got it for you golden liquid he gave me a thousand exp uh bring me greeny ale Okay. Alright, so I was looking. It looks like the Adolf guy I need to talk to is in a different town. Um, I don't know how to get over there. But uh, I'll just keep that task in the, in the back right now. Well, that's going to go ahead and conclude this first look video of Zazenia Online. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. This game is also definitely up there on my list. Um, I, I like this top-down art style, customizable UI. Um, it's, it's very relaxing to play. You know, we are on a PvP world. And in these types of games, if, you've, you know, if you're familiar with Tibia, you know how these games go. I mean, people PvP, trying to take domination of servers. I'm sure something like that happens here. But it's probably going to be a long time until you see something like that. And, um, like, this guy's not even in a guild, so maybe there isn't that on the PvP server. But, anyways, this game is definitely very fun. I'm going to probably be playing it again. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you can see more content that I dish out. Please leave a comment below if you would like to watch me play more of this game. Congratulations to Dwarf Cannons for reaching level 50. Wish them luck. Good luck, Dwarf Cannons. <laughs> That's pretty cool to announce it to the whole server. Um, but anyways, until next time, everyone. Peace out.